Hello friends, Big Stupid Green here, and we are back to the Grand Oak Hotel. We are going to give it another shot. I couldn't let this scenario get away that easily. and But we are going to try a new investigator. And I've never played this person before, so I might be doing him a disservice. But we're going to try Norman Withers here. Uh, he is the foremost uh, seeker who's not really a seeker. He's really a mystic, but... At a level 0 deck, he is a Seeker with a little bit of Mystic instead of a Mystic with a little bit of Seeker. But anyway, um, you get to play with your top card of your deck revealed, and you could play that if you want at a minus 1 resource cost, but if you flip over a weakness, you have to draw it. So, very unique ability, kind of a proto Joe Diamond, I guess, uh, but not really at all. He's also from the um, Tindalos universe as his um, vengeful hound personal weakness is um, so gonna have to deal with that we have split the angle another um, big uh, hint that he's from uh, the Tindalos uh, story we get to uh, play around with the encounter deck so that should be good and then we got a random basic weakness, which unfortunately for us was overzealous. We have to draw the top card of the encounter deck and the gain surge. That's one of the worst. So that was kind of a not so lucky part of our uh, setup here. Let's take a look at the deck. Again, I am no Norman Withers expert. I kind of whipped this deck up in a few minutes. Um, hopefully it's okay. Um... I didn't see a ton of solo deck lists on Arkham DB, but if you are a Norman Withers expert, please let me know um, some other options for him. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and set up here. Uh, we don't have any weapons, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, I'm going to read the lore, I think. When I first tried to replay the scenario, I didn't, but I decided... I think I'm going to so that this scenario kind of stands out, but I'm going to draw my opening hand first. Um, so right away uh, we have something to fight with and Dr. Milan deduction, so we can kind of do everything we want out of this. So I think I like this opening draw. Let's go ahead and take a look at the story. The Grand Oak Hotel. The old building has stood as a staple of Main Street for 20 years. Multiple expansions and renovations have kept its interior modern, with a marble floored lobby and a sparkling new elevator connecting its many floors. Polished wood and the smell of brass make the whole place exude a feeling of wealth and the upscale class of New York. Less modern, however, is the disturbing secret history of the well-known hotel. You stumbled across it by accident while following another angle. Hey, they knew Norman was coming. Uh, and multiple old and forgotten missing persons reports. Records of several travelers who came to the Big Apple for business or pleasure, who checked in and never checked out. All the trails, dozens of them, go cold here at this building, and those are just the ones you found. None of the police reports had any notes. None of the have-you-seen-me classified ads were followed up on. Somehow, all these people vanished, and no one followed up on it. No one until you, that is. As you approach the front desk, a politely serious concierge greets you. The one person willing to help with your nosing around. I'm glad you're here. It's about time this was taken care of. Then a small frown. I know you're serious people with serious methods, but this is a polite place of high society. Before I show you to your suite, I'd be happy to secure any of your more dangerous tools in our strong boxes. You put your luggage on the bellhop's trolley and leave a nice tip. It's time to get to the bottom of this. So, um, weapons are not allowed in the hotel. You can give them to him, or you have to give them to him. You could choose to smuggle one one hand weapon in, keeping it into your opening hand, but we are um, just using spells and events to do damage, so we don't need to do that. Let's go ahead and look in the act in the agenda deck. Missing persons. Concierge is on your side. He wants his hotel to operate normally, and he wants those missing guests found. But he's not prepared to unlock every door for you. 
you'll need to prove to him that something else is going on first. Some of the disappearances happened on the same floor as your suite, though, so you have somewhere to start. When the lobby has three clues per investigator on it, advance. The agenda is still air. The hotel seems normal at first pass. Guests move through the lobby and hallways, looking as cheerful or exhausted as vacationers or business travelers should. No one screams or attacks you, but something feels strange to you, as if you knew what was wrong, and then forgot about just as quickly as you learned it. Okay, here's the scenario card. I think I already showed that once, but might as well. Let's go ahead and we start at your room, which has one uh, clue and has a couple of uh, nice utility uh, functions as well. But we are Norman, so we need to play with the top card flipped over. We have the Hawkeye folding camera, which the more... Um, more times we fully investigate something, the better this gets. So it might be a good idea to work on that. Um, but I would like some ability to defend myself. So what I think I'm going to do is play shriveling. Three. Um, we could play Hawkeye folding camera at this point, which I think I am. And so, once per round, you may play the top card of your deck as if it were in your hand at minus one resource cost. We have to play with the top deck, uh, top card reveal, so I'm going to reveal it. That's a, um, a flashlight, we can't use that because we already used our ability. That's okay, I'm going to go ahead and just investigate anyway. We are a 5 against 2, because Norman is uh, very min-maxy. <laughs> okay, we got the clue. And we get a resource on the Hawkeye folding camera. So right now we have plus one willpower. So we're five, five, two, one. All right, that's our turn. Um, let's go ahead and draw a card. Take a resource and then start with the encounters. And we have a threshold of eight, so we have some time. How did I get here? Whenever I read that, I think the talking heads, but that's neither here nor there. Move to another room with no investigator in it, on a different floor. Then exhaust two of your assets. Okay. Doesn't really matter if these are exhausted. Um, yeah, you don't have to exhaust this one to do that. I don't know... Hmm. If you exhaust an asset, you're basically blanking it or not? That'd be a good question. Um, so we can go anywhere we want. Oops, awesome. Little, uh, quirk of this mod. I guess we'll go to the hotel room. Right here. And see what we have. Okay. If an enemy would spawn here, it said spawn it in the elevator. Okay. Let's grab our clues here. Oops. <laughs> Didn't quite uh, copy paste like I wanted it to. I wanted to copy the clue. Thank you. Not of uh, Norman Winter's gear there. Oh well. Alright. Discard that. Um, Want to get Dr. Milan out. I think this has two clues on it. Would be nice. I think I am. So I'm going to take the full turn here to take two resources and then get Milan, rest of her out. We're going to play with the taboo rules so I can only use him once. Um, so I'll have to remember that once a turn, his ability anyway. Um, we need to draw and uh, not forget our upkeep phase here. Then we can grab a doom and move on. Thought Harvester. 
Okay, so that guy has to spawn in the elevator. He has Hunter Retaliate, Parlay discard two cards, then he loses Hunter and exhausts, and he may disengage. So if you don't want to fight him, you don't have to. Um, let's go ahead and do some investigation, I think. Um, do I want to get out a flashlight? Probably not. I think I want to. I want to at least investigate on my own first. I'm a six against three. Okay, so his effect is plus X. You may swap the top card of your deck with a card in your hand. X is the resource cost of the top card of your deck. So if I wanted to play something for cheaper, I could swap. And if I really needed a plus X effect, I could put something expensive on top of here. Um, we could use that to play the flashlight this turn, which would be kind of handy. Um, yeah, I guess we'll do that. So we'll swap. So we want to get the tooth out. Probably not yet. Okay, so we'll do that, I guess. Um, grab the clue. And then, um, well, I suppose I don't really want to play flashlight because I need to do something about this guy. Um, or he's going to have to hit me. I could discard some cards. So if I parlay and discard two cards, he loses Hunter and exhausts. Um, can we just take a hit and do that next turn? Probably. Uh, we could try to kill him with shriveling. It wouldn't be too bad. We'll have uh, at least six on three. But since he's in the elevator, we can't really run because the elevator is connected to all of this stuff. Unfortunately. So let's just, just carry on. Do we want to play the flashlight for cheap? Um, probably. Yeah. So we'll do that. We'll do this. We have to flip this card over. Oh, awesome. Vengeful Hound! Pray while Vengeful Hound is engaged with you, you cannot draw or reveal cards via play a card effects. Good to know. Let's dribble in. At least we have um, that going for us. So we are a um, 5 against 2. Alright, he's dead. Oops, not on top of the deck. Right here. Alright, um, enemy phase. Let's move on top of us, and we're going to take 2 damage and 2 horror. Um, Lon can take 1 of that. And uh, that obviously hurts. When Thought Harvester attacks you, you discard your hand. Oh. Lovely. Okay, so that whole plan kind of went awry. I should have just hit him. Oh well. well, that's what happens when you learn, I guess. Draw a card. So we have to be um, proactive with that, or else um, that happens. Okay, well, we have Shriveling. Um, kind of sucks though, that was a lot of the good cards. And we get another enemy. Okay. Let's try to shrivel this guy. Okay, skull means we take horror. We get to do two damage to the um, that guy. Do it again. Okay, um, I don't want to switch anything, I don't think. So he's dead. Then I'll fight this guy. Um, fortunately, we can use our willpower instead of fight. Oh, that was two actions. 
uh, minus two, still win. And then we need to test willpower three. Okay, so we don't have to move blue. All right, well, at least we dealt with those guys efficiently enough. We have wither too, which is nice. Um, yeah, just a distraction, fortunately. Could have been a lot worse. Let's go ahead and check out our next encounter. It must have worked. Spend an ammo and test fight three. We can't do that. Or spend one supplier charge and test investigate three. If you succeed, do not draw an encounter card during the next mythos phase. If you fail or do not test, take damage. All right, so we're going to spend... Um, Supply from flashlight here and test investigate three. Yeah, we passed that. So we do not draw any counter card during the next mythos phase. So I'm going to put that here. So hopefully I remember. I'll put a horror token on top of here in case I don't remember. Um, so that's kind of a cool, well, a good card for us. Um, let's start. Or restart investigating. Um, we have a three against five, six, seven. So we're plus four. All right. And then our Hawkeye folding camera gets another charge. So now we have a, an additional investigate. Uh, Milan goes off. So we get a resource. And then we can go to the lobby now. Um, so we can move here, the hotel elevator, and um, we need to move it to another floor. Connected to all locations on this current floor. I don't know why it starts here then, since we're, I don't know if it's supposed to start on this floor. Um, it didn't matter because the card moved us here. Unless it does, and then the elevator wouldn't be here, but I'm not sure. Just imagine we took the stairs. Um, so we moved, and we had to use the elevator. So that's our turn. Uh, we'll draw. Okay. Take a resource. And then this guy means we don't draw a card in the um, mythos phase. So we've successfully remembered that. Do you still have a Doom though? So that's 5 out of 8. Um, our turn. We have working a hunch. Let's just go to the lobby now. Can't enter it unless we have... If we have a weapon, we cannot enter it. Then we can parlay test uh, investigate 3. Share details with the concierge. If you succeed, move a clue from any investigator to this location. So let's get started. Um, book three, we have five, six, seven. Um, we have to exhaust an asset. But we get to move a clue. Do that again for our last turn. Oops, game kind of stalled out on me. There we go, two out of three. That's our turn. Ooh, split the angle. I have to play that next turn. It takes no slots too, which is nice. Let's go ahead and get back into the encounter deck. Confused guest. Okay, he's a hunter, but we can um, test investigate three to defeat him and draw a card, so that will be easy enough. Let's do that. Uh, that'll be easy enough. <laughs> Let's do that. Alright, there we go. Uh, exhaust something. Doesn't matter. We do get the draw card. Okay, that was rude. 
Um, do I want to do that right now? I want to play this right now. I do. I just want to move on to the act deck. Um, probably just want to play this now. Yeah. Or do I want to play Wither? If we run into another big bad guy, we don't have a lot of, um, we have, I've got a plan, but we don't have a ton of clues on us. Um, no, it's a, uh, it's a good, good question. So we only, we're only gonna, we have two damage left on shriveling if it hits, basically. Wither would be a more permanent solution. I think I'm gonna go slow here, play Wither instead of split the angle. Just in case. I haven't seen any big bad guys except for the one we just dealt with, but that doesn't mean there aren't some in there. I'm still playing blind with the encounter deck, just the ones that I've drawn um, in the previous playthrough. So that might be might be a good idea, might not be a good idea. And to upkeep, we are drawn through our deck pretty quickly. Um, at least it feels like that. And see what we draw here. Another remnant. Any skill check involving remnant uses willpower instead of fight. When you defeat him, test willpower three. If you fail, return a clue to your location. So this is one of those things where I hope I fail this because I want to move that to the location, but I don't think I will because it uses willpower and we have five willpower, so we'll see. Yeah, he's dead, so now I have to test willpower three. And we get that too. Um, let's keep going with the parlay. Okay. Minus two, we're a five, it's a three. So I think we get that. Yeah, no, we're like a seven minus two, so okay, we're fine. So we get to move the act deck. Advance. The evidence mounts up over the evening until finally the concierge nods and concedes to you. I had hoped that this could be resolved quickly, but you've made it clear that you'll need to get into the back of the house. Here, this unlocks the other floors in the elevator. He th hands you a thick key and gives you a nod. Good luck. I don't think anyone's been in the basement for years. Remove all clues from the lobby. Let's do that first. I'm just going to put them all here in case we need clues for some random reason. Then we need to put the Set aside locations for storage, janitor's office, boiler room, and workshop into play. We can now go to the 13th floor and the basement. Um, this is floor 15, this is floor 8, so it needs to go. We need to move all of this stuff down once. Okay. And then we will look at our set aside locations here. Okay, boiler room, sure, go somewhere here. Workshop is in the basement as well. Janitor's office is 13, and storage room is 13. Okay, and we have to um, pass a fight check to reveal the janitor's office. Hopefully we don't have to do that, since uh, Norman there isn't that buff. Uh, anything else? No, I think we did that. Act 2A, who remembers? Your investigation has taken you through most of the hotel, but now you have access to a few locked off areas. Your feeling is your feeling that something is off increases as you progress. You find yourselves walking down hallways you don't remember turning onto, and seeing walls where you thought there should be doors. You keep getting lost in small ways. You're going to need to find someone to show you around. It has a big old fat eight as our threshold, our clues required. So that does not scale with multiplayer. That's interesting. Um, so we're here in the lobby. 
I think I want to play split the angle here. I don't know. We have to use an action to reveal the top card of the encounter deck, which is... I don't know if we're going to have time to ever do that. That's the problem. We could use it for its symbols, though. I don't know. I think I, I just want to get going and start discovering some clues here. Um, well, we're not getting into the manager's office. The bar, if I remember, wasn't very clue friendly. So I'm just going to go to the hotel elevator and we could go down here and explore the basement. So I like that idea. So that'll be our, our last two moves. Norman really wants to get his player card uh, enlarged there. He really wants us to see this, but we'll just uh, continue to make it smaller. Okay. Upkeep. I'm working the hunch. That's good. Uh, grab a resource. And then we're going to see what this agenda deck does to us because we are at the threshold. So. There is certainly something wrong. Your fellow guests seem almost consistently confused. Constantly confused, sorry. You've seen a man with an umbrella walk a loop of the halls three times, checking his watch. It hasn't rained in days. Dissonant thoughts cause small fights between travelers. You may find yourself struggling to remember conversations even an hour ago. You might be crazy, but you think you may have seen ghosts. You simply cannot tell if they were the restless dead or simply people you cannot clear, clearly remember, and you feel it getting worse. Each player tests willpower X, X is the number of cards in your hand for each point you fail by, shuffle one card from your hand into your deck. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Um, so right now we have to test willpower, um, <clears throat> willpower 6, which I'm going to make willpower 5 by committing split the angle, and we would have 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 against 5. That's not bad. Okay, so we pass that. We have to exhaust an asset we control. I need to learn if um, assets care if they're exhausted when they usually aren't. Um, just in case. I... Let's see. We don't exhaust that, but we... I'm not sure. Let's just flip that over for now. Actually, no, because we... I don't know if it would turn off the reaction or not. I'm not sure. like how it refuses to snap on now. Oh well. Let's just do that, I guess. Okay. Let's draw an encounter card. Uh, I've butsed around with that. Anything else? No. Anything with this? No, we'll read that in this. No, we'll read that now. Missing hours. And the guests are back to normal now, and you feel yourself regaining a hold on your mind as well. Everything is calm again, like a lull, the lull in the storm. None of the staff are acting like this is unexpected. Have they been there so long that they've learned to live with it? Concierge has been at his desk the whole time and doesn't seem to have noticed a thing. And when did the sun set? And this clock strike nine. Five threshold. And another ghost. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to go fight this guy then. Um, again, um, we'll power against two. We'll do it. Um, we can test will power three to see if we return a clue. I guess that's. Um, that only matters if there's a token that does something bad, but um, it doesn't, so that's dead. Let's go to the workshop. One clue. Switch your deck for a tactic and put it into your hand. That's cool. I don't think I have any tactics. I have insights, not tactics. Um, but we have a clue grip, so. Two against, 
Uh, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we got that one. We get a wrist for cash. We get that. We have more evidence. You get plus one sanity, so that's cool. So it's a lot of running around for a lot of easy to grab clues. At least that seems to be the uh, what's going on so far. Emergency cash. Oh, that means yeah, that's an emergency. Huh? Okay. Let's see what we get here. Who are you? Memory. Choose an ally controlled by any investigator. Shuffle it into its owner's deck. All right. That. Could have been annoying, except we already have a copy of Milan, so it is more of a waste of our time than anything else. It could also uh, be bad with our ability here. Okay, we are lucky enough not to get overzealous there. So we'll discard that. Um, do I want to bring out Milan again? Yeah, it's good to keep allies out. That's our first action. Um, let's go ahead and check out the boiler room. It has a victory point. An investigator here draws a card or investigates. Test agility to. If you fail, take damage. Okay, that is bad. You do not have good agility. Um, so I think I'm going to move out of here, but we can work a hunch first. Grab this clue without taking a test. Um, this is a victory point. So we'll just copy paste that up there. And that was not an action. So we invested, no, we played Milan, we moved, now we gotta move back. That's our third action. Okay, and then um, we get a resource on this, but I'm not sure if that matters. And it's not a successful investigation check, so we don't get a resource up in one. So let's go ahead and upkeep. So yeah, we're going to get our emergency caches. It's fine. Let's go ahead and drop bad card. Thought Harvester, you aren't supposed to see that. Okay. So, the problem with this is that I don't want him on my elevator. <laughs> if we were, like, here, awesome. I could discard two cards, he loses Hunter, we never see him again, probably. But that's not how it works. It worked today, so... We are going to have to fight this guy again. Let's shrivel. Um, five, I think. Yeah, five after Hawkeye folding camera. Against three might be good to um, make sure this hits. No, didn't need it, but that's okay. And then the skull means I take a horror, which means Mulan takes a horror. And he gets that. Um, we have to exhaust an asset we control. Bizarre. Um, and then we'll try to wither him away. At plus two. Um, good again. Okay, good. Pretty lucky there. Don't want to lose our hand. Lucky that we killed him so easily, unlucky that he spawned in the elevator. So I guess that um, evens itself out. There, uh, monster killer uh, Norman there, getting the, getting the job done. Got our emergency cash. Let's see what's uh, here. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if people ever consider running both Hawkeye folding cameras out at the same time. Which might be something I do because I haven't needed to flashlight much this game. 
because Norman is already a big old five and um, a six and a seven. Interesting. There might be some high shroud locations that make us pay for that choice, but um, something to think about. Anyway, let's keep on drawing some cards here. Ooh. What hit me? Reveal at least two agility icons on cards in your hand or take a damage. If you reveal cards, discard one of them or take a damage. Okay, so we have to discard cards or just take a damage. Um, Norman isn't exactly known for um, being able to tank hits, but I don't have enough um, agility icons to play around with this card, unfortunately. So let's keep moving. Uh, we're going to go... Let's check out the 13th floor, I think. And we can't get into the janitor's office, but we can get into the storage room. So that was two actions. And I believe we need two clues. Storage room can be investigated using fight instead of um, investigate. If you fail while doing so, take one damage. Well, we're not going to do that. We're just going to investigate it. So let's go ahead and um, yeah, investigate. Nice too. Definitely didn't fail that. So get a resource from Milan. We'll take a clue from here. So we moved the elevator, we moved here, and then we investigated. So that's our turn. Go ahead and draw this. In a resource. And then grab a remnant. OK. We know what to do with these guys. Go ahead and fight using, uh, well, we can use Wither, I guess. It doesn't really matter. And it's dead. We have to test full power 3. And that's dead. Okay. We don't have to return a clue. I think I am going to go full greed mode here. Maybe that's a bad idea, but... Eh, kind of cool. You're not restricted to only one um, holding camera, are you? Nope, so we're just taking cameras. Willy nilly, I kind of like that idea. So we got one more, um, one more clue here. We are a seven, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Ooh, minus four is three, but we do get it. So <clears throat> we get that clue. Um, I think it matters if you get another resource, but you um, limit once per game and occasion. I don't know if both get one. I think both get one. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we got another willpower boost already. So we fought that guy, we played the camera, and then we investigated. So that's our turn. Get that in here. Uh, well. Fun time was going to end eventually, right? Um, overzealous. But becoming a nobody into your threat area. Peril. Discard at becoming nobody. This must be done by another investigator at your location. Well, that's going to be hard. And that has surge. So we draw it again. So we don't know what that does to us but we can't fix it. So, we'll see. Um, and that was our uh, upkeep phase, so. That awesome. Perceptions on top of our deck. This is going to roll over now.
Let me sip some coffee. It's getting worse. It was a lull. You can only barely keep your wits about you as the minutes blur together and your memories of your own investigation start to leave you. You know you found something important, but damned if you could say what it was. Your notes are all you have to guide you now, but you've done more with less. You just hope you'll be able to stop this before you lose too much. Each player tests willpower for, and if we fail, we must shuffle our hand back into our deck. Okay, well, we have six willpower at the moment, because Hawkeye Folding Camera is slowly turning into my favorite card. Um, and why are we here? <clears throat> you vaguely remember coming here for something important. Were you meeting someone? That doesn't sound right. Though you do meet a lot of people in your business. You still remember your business. You can keep moving forward, but should you? Does it even matter anymore? And we can resign. There's no reason for us to be here. We may as well pack up. Interesting. We have two agendas left, so we're not quite done with the scenario. But we'll see. Choose an ally. Shuffle it into our deck. I'm sorry, Milan. Let me have to flip this over for shortcuts. Okay. So we're done with this location. We aren't going to get in there unless we want to use Mind Over Matter. Um, should we would be plus two? Might be worth it. Oh, this is another victory point. I don't know if I put that up there or not. Oh, uh, it would be kind of cool. Let's do it. Okay, move. Play Mind Over Matter. So we have, of course, five, six. Six against four here. It's minus two, so we get that. Two clues, Shroud Four. The revealing investigator adds a copy of Never Remembered to their threat area. That is not ever remembered. Okay. Nope. Um, let's see. Is it in here? Nope. Is it in here? Nope. Um, let's see. Nothing's in here. Is it in here? Nope. Uh, let me make sure we're doing this right. That's all assets. Oh, there it is. Wait, did that not search for it? Huh. Usually you can search for the things alphabetically, but not there. So we have this now. Our threat area is full. <laughs> um, you earn one less experience at the end of this scenario. Another investigator. That's not happening. They test willpower five. If they succeed, discard. If they succeed by two or more, exile. That's good to know. I'm going to stack this up, I think. Um, and then I'm going to put damage on it and just put it at state two so we know that there's two copies of that. Just reclaiming some area here. And it is, after all that, two clues and a shot of four. Let's do what we do best and investigate. We're five, we're six, we're only a six here. Losing Milan uh, was quite a hit. Um, use working a hunch to grab one of these clues. That would be a terrible idea. We don't need the resources. And that is fast. But we'll be plus, um, plus two, right? Yeah, just plus two. All right, so we got that. That's good. And these get resources. So now we have another, uh, another help for our 
Uh, investigate, so now we're five, six, seven, all right, uh, again. And victory point. Okay. That's our turn. Let's draw a card. Oh, that shouldn't have been flipped over. That's weird. I'll just shuffle it. Gain a resource. Alright, our agenda. Yep, we have five threshold. Another becoming nobody. Um, let's make that a three then. I think we're gonna win the scenario and then become nobody and lose somehow. We'll see. I've got how many clues do I have here? I have five, so we need three more clues to move on. Let's um, move. Did I? Okay, I do have my extra field. Okay, we're gonna move here. We're gonna move. Um, so where haven't we haven't looked to this hotel room? Something feels off about this door. Guest registry shows it is empty though. Oh, that's not foreshadowing at all. I would love to go there. I think we have to use uh, resources for this, which would be bad. Um, could just go up to our room and use a turn to do stuff. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, if you forget what these are, I know we have to like spend resources and stuff, which actually wouldn't be bad because we're full of um, emergency caches. I just forget which one was which. So. My metagaming was fruitless. Let's go to the lounge and hope that was it. Yep. Awesome. That has three clues, right? Sure does. Okay. That's our turn. Draw this. Ooh, Milan, hello. I bet I have to use my resources for something else. Let's take that. You know their ghost. You know what to do. Alright. So, two against um, four, five, six. Okay, it's dead. Um, test will power three. It's minus two, but we have more than five, so we're good. And then we will spend two resources to grab clip. And I'm gonna use my last action to gain three resources. Emergency cash. Alright. Card. Resource. Go to the encounter deck. Lost time. Discard three cards. Lose two actions or add a doom to the current agenda. Do we have three cards we can discard? Um, rather not. We could lose two actions. Um, it's tempting to drop three cards, but um, we just be picking up. We could pick up two clues if we. Uh, what's our threshold for? So we're not in the witching hour, so doom matters. I kind of want to keep up the tempo because I don't know how much longer we have. Let's see. What could we get rid of? Probably a mind over matter. Um, emergency cash. And that's the problem. One of these cards are going to hurt. We're going to get another I've got a plan. So how about we get rid of that one instead. Okay. So we're going to do that instead. Get rid of three cards. 
All right, we're going to parlay and uh, we're going to parlay twice. Yeah. Then that'll get us enough clues to move on. That, uh, it's only two, two actions done. Okay, Hawkeye camera goes off again. <laughs> we have uh, a lot of locations. This this is an ideal scenario for Hawkeye folding camera. To be fair, so it's not the card's not this good. Um, anyway, let's spend all these clues and move on. Who remembers? We do. Maybe. You've tracked down the location of the hotel's head janitor, Jazz. Wait, no, not Jazz. He moves around a lot, but right now you know he should be in his office. If anyone is going to know the floor plan, he will. It took more than a little effort to get any information, though. Everyone seemed to require prompting to even remember he existed. So, we gotta put that guy into the janitor room. So we needed to, um, let's see, where is it? There it is. So we need to get into this area anyway. And that's it. The janitor remembers. A wild-eyed man sits in the janitor's office, muttering softly to himself. As he approaches, he realizes he is repeating names. Jim West, Mark Taylor, Sarah Naismith. The list continues, and you hear more than a few you recognize as those missing persons you were searching for. Parlay. Investigators at the same location as William Hebb may discard a total of two um, clues for investigator to advance in addition to spending clues. Oh, okay. So we need to spend four clues and two cards, not yeah, investigator cards. So we needed to drop two cards and four clues to advance. Okay. That's going to be rough, but we still have some places to explore. I, I think the luxury suite has nothing, but I'm going to look anyway. Oh, no, it does. We have to discard a card from our hand to grab it. But every clue matters. We've taken most of the clues off the map, it seems like, so we're going to need to. Uh, be thorough. That's our turn though. I've got a plan. A shortcut. And you know the threshold we're one away. Another confused okay, confused guest. Alright, so we have to parlay this gate three. We got that. So it's defeated, we draw a card. And then we need to discard a card from a hand to investigate. We don't have enough resources to play Milan first, but that's okay. I'll discard um I'm gonna discard any of these cards, but we kinda have to, don't we? Um, feels like a bad idea to get rid of a deduction. Shortcut is also kind of the same, um, same thing, action, compression. We're obviously not going to get rid of Milan. Can't really get rid of mind over matter in case we need to, uh, pass another strength or agility test or fighter agility test. Um, yeah, have to make bad decisions, but it is what it is. Okay, we're going to investigate that. Okay. Auto fail would be a pretty ins uh, a lot of insult to injury for that. Um, but we don't. I'm not sure why I'm still adding resources, but whatever. Okay, we are going back to the elevator then. Let's draw this inquiring mind. 
at least we know we don't have any more uh, weaknesses to run into. But this rolls over. Did I grab a resource? No, I didn't. Going too fast here. All right. Sip some coffee and re get through this. What were you thinking? He can't leave. There was something. Something so very important here. You had to do something. You can't leave now. You need to stay. Also, you can't quite seem to remember the way to the door, but that's okay. You're getting better at holding on to things you need to remember and letting go of everything else. You fear that letting go might be the wrong thing to do, but it's hard to think of any reasons beyond the fear itself. At least you have your notes. The investigation can go on, for a little while anyway. For each card in an investigator's hand, they must either discard a card or lose a resource. So we have to discard two cards and lose all our resources. Um, I'll get rid of acquiring mine and I guess shortcut. Uh, actually, no resources. Uh, I don't think Milan is going to be a thing. And empty shells. There's nothing left. You stopped trying to reach for anything in your mind some time ago. How long? You can't know. All you have are your notes, the physical evidence you've collected, and the fact that your mind still seems to be working at full tilt, even if you can't hold on to any of what it tells you. You can walk. You are armed. And though, and you are not alone, it will have to be enough. You're almost done. All cards lose parlay. Does that mean we just need four clues now? And it's interesting that this may discard. Well, I guess this probably just must discard. So are we... Um, let's lose parlay. So I wonder if that means we can't do Act 3 and we're screwed. I'm not sure. We've got four threshold left though. Four doom left until we get to uh, uh, get to the end of this probably confused guest. Okay. Let's test uh, investigate three. All right, we need to draw a card. Shriveling, be kind of good, but we don't really need it. Um, well, let's go to the hotel room. That's five clues. When you end your turn here, test willpower four. If you fail, take a horror. If you fail by three or more, take an additional one horror. And while we've got five clues on here. Alright, that was our turn though. Test full power four. So we have four, five, six. Okay. So we passed that. Let's uh, draw a card. Need a resource. Got wither. Got three more turns. Must have worked. Spend an ammo. Or spend a supplier charge and test um this is a supplier secret. It just says a resource. I guess it's like evidence, I suppose. So we can't do this. And we have to take damage now. Ow. Almost dead there. Um let's discard. And let's start uh, investigating. We are plus, um, we're five, six, seven, so we are plus five. Okay, it's one. Don't need to use that. It's two. Exhaust that, so it doesn't really matter. Yep, three. Now that's four clues. So, investigators are the same. 
location as well, and you have may span a total of two. So there and some location. Everything loses parlay. So I think we can't advance. At least that's the way I read that. Or it just says um, remove the whole parlay text, and it's only four, and we can just spend it right now. Um, this is kind of an inflection point where we either know or we don't know. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to cut the episode off here and we'll post this. And then I'm going to look up discussion on this um, particular scenario, ask some people, um, see if... Uh, See if we can do it or not. I know if you fail this scenario, you can redo it. We knew that from the last um, the uh, last time we attempted this. So um, either way, this will be a part three, sort of, of the Grand Oaks Hotel. More of a part two with Norman Winters. Because um, I want to get that right, because it's kind of game-breaking if I do this the wrong way. So anyway, we are... Um, it's the end of the player phase and the investigator phase. So I'll write that down or mark that down and we will see how we proceed. So I'm Big Stupid Grin. Hope you enjoyed your time here. And until next time, watch out for investigating hotels. <laughs>